PCB design is a design that works and performs in a way the customer expects it. Basically, the PCDB designer has to have a certain knowledge. It's like a driver's license. But having a driver's license does not necessarily mean that you are a good car driver. It's a starting point, and then it's, it's a matter of cooperation and of trust. And I think the one who has the final responsibility that the PCB is working is the manufacturer. So what I can tell to my customers is, talk to your manufacturer first if you have got some fancy ideas because the manufacturer will know this will be working or this won't be working. But in prototyping status, it's not always possible to speak with a manufacturer, but we have other possibilities, Dirk. We prepare every order as if it was an order for 10,000, 20,000 volume production even if it's only one or two pieces that we have to make. So, and that is something that we stand by. We go for industrial quality from day one, from the first prototype you make. So it's not uh, your, your data, if it's, if it's not okay, you will get comments back and you will, be, you will be spoken to for everything which is not okay to go into production. So, and that is very important for people to know that uh, clean the house from the very beginning and don't wait until you go for the 1000 series. Because even for the prototype, these things are important. Yes, this is uh, very much important to put this into consideration at already at the prototype, because you always, when you are doing big numbers, you have wear uh, of, of your uh, tools, and so you have to have certain tolerances. And this is something which some young designers must learn you may have constraints in your design system, but uh, depending on which machine you manufacture it later and what the machine tolerances are, this might have an immediate feedback on your design tolerances. A manufacturer has a, has a checklist. Go through the checklist with your manufacturer before you even start designing. Yes, and we, we, we have such a list, but we have also, or we, um, we make workshops with our with our customers and we join events like the Leiter Plattentag. You are one of the co-moderators. What is what is it? I think it's it's very interesting because you have to be open-minded and uh, especially if you're working a prof in a technical profession, uh, we have lifelong learning and technologies improve. Things which haven't been possible ten years ago are state-of-the-art technologies. Uh, like thinking about lasered microwires, which were pretty exotic 20 years ago. Uh, now it's, it's, it's a standard technology. And this is what I like with uh, Leiterplattentage, because it's an extremely productive mix between uh, technology news on one side and the feedback from the guys who are doing this for more than 20 years in practice on the other side. And we have fruitful discussions there. And uh, I've always went out with some really good new knowledge just talking to the experts. We have a really fruitful discussions there. We will be there and I hope a lot of our community. Thank you. You're welcome.